<laughs> my light fell, my light fell. Ha! Ah. Hi everyone, it's me. Let me take you guys to the bathroom. Not literally, because that'd be weird. Ha! Ah. Oh, that was failed. Whoa, hold on. Time to wear a wig. Why you ask? Because I don't want to do my hair. That's literally the reason. A couple things we got to do today. Number one, lower my camera. Look, a different backdrop today. You don't have to see the trash. I have divided my day up into two. This is four. The first chunk of the day is preparing for my trip to Hawaii. I'm so excited. I'm going with my mother to Hawaii. We have not been on a trip together for like 11 years. So we're finally making the move. So I'm gonna be packing, getting my stuff together the first part of this day. It's still not happening for a little bit. I like to pack and get ready way before I need to because if my energy levels are low or if I don't feel well closer to the date of travel, then I know that I'm prepared. I always have to like prepare things way before I'm supposed to because I don't like to be rushed. I decided to film today to bring you guys with me. I'm gonna try to pack and get rid of a lot of stuff from my closet because I, well, by the way, that's my chair that's creaking. When I pack, I try to like get rid of lots of stuff from my closet. By get rid of, I mean, I make f piles of clothes because my mother was born and raised in the Philippines. We send boxes basically of clothes. We send these boxes to the Philippines where we have a lot of family and friends. Anything that's like wintry or because if it's like 7,000 degrees in the Philippines. So if it's like a jacket or a hat or something that's not good for heat, I try to sell it. That's the plan, I'm gonna make two piles, a send to the Philippine pile, and a pile for money. And when I make a pile for money, like when I'm saying sell it, like I literally make 10 cents off my clothes. Buys me lunch, which is really good. Who doesn't want lunch? <sighs> breathe, 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 breathe. The second part of my day involves making music and just like, I realize in these vlogs, I'm always like, oh, I'm going on a session. Oh, I'm going on a session. Basically my life involves all different kinds of sessions. I'm either working on my own music or I get hired to work on other people's music. I get hired to perform for companies. I do all sorts of different things. And then I work on my own things, which is my own music, on my own performances, the smile tour, which is basically my life right now. Right now, I have to breathe. Or else do I? I always feel funny because I lead the life of like a 14 year old, but I'm more than twice that age. I'm like a 14 year old at heart. My entire room looks like I live in a dorm. I wear the same sweater every day. I wear wigs, I create music. I feel like I'm not an adult at all. And I feel like I probably never will ever grow up. I don't wanna grow up, I'm a toy just kiss. My little baby's taking a nap. This is a very, whoops, very rare occurrence because he's usually up. He's the dog that is the most up of all dogs. Basically never sleeps. Okay, also I'm really small, so I can bring you guys down a little. Oh, I think this is gonna work. Okay, we're making it look like a real vlog. <laughs> I mean like a real clothing, whatever people do. Step one is I have to remove my oxygen and put it on this way. Things are pretty organized. I don't know why I'm so organized, because really I'm not an organized person at heart, but actually I guess maybe I am. So we have shirts, can't believe they're folded, sweaters, Pants, more sweaters. This is gonna be like a really weirdly long, boring video. How do we do this? So one by one? Oh my God, you're gonna fall asleep. Gee, shall I keep this? I'm gonna go through these things, get rid of what I don't want, and I'm gonna show you what those things are. Then I'm gonna pack and possibly try things on because otherwise it's gonna be me talking to you for like five hours about clothes, which is useless. Little update. I've changed my cannula to my big, huge, ugly house cannula. It's been about a half an hour. I've gotten nowhere. Literally nowhere. Got on the phone. I've been doing that for the past 30 minutes. I'm tired. <laughs> this is the problem. Like I have this burst of energy. I'm like, I'm gonna make you use this energy. And then it goes. Hey, I need you to come back. back. Ugh, come back. Stay tuned. Breathe, breathe, breathe. By the way, I realized that I said we're sending a box to the Philippines because we have family and friends in the Philippines. We're not sending this box to our family and friends. We're sending the box, well we are technically sending the box to our family and friends. They will then distribute the clothing to people who need them out there. I have a very close connection to the Philippines, to, to the Philippines, love the Philippines, particularly the food, which is amazing, which I can't eat now because it's filled with salt. I wish. I've currently created an outfit. I'll tell you why it's not gonna work. It's just like the way you do it. Blah, blah, blah. 
The reason this outfit is not gonna work is because, breathe woman, it is too tight around my tummy area. And if you guys are dealing with breathing issues, particularly pulmonary hypertension, you will know that you, well, actually, I don't know if you guys experience this too, but my tummy area, so this area right here, which yes, this is my tummy. I don't like to have anything tight around that area because it makes breathing harder. These pants are not gonna work because they're tight. Not only is breathing harder, but I can't have lunch. And if I can't have lunch in my pants, it's not happening. I just took my pants off, but you didn't see that happen. Here they are. The video is probably so incredibly boring. Just shut it off. If it's boring, just shut it off. I'm literally just having fun. Here are the opposite of what I just showed you guys. These are pregnancy pants. There we are. So I actually bought them without knowing what they were. And they're so perfect because they expand with your tummy. That's how you get dressed on camera. Oh my God, it's so much better. Can you say, how do I get this there? I think that looks better. We have room to breathe, people. We can breathe, we can eat, we can lead a normal life with these pants. So these are a winner. They are coming to Hawaii. Our next look needs a little help. This was a really, really giant shirt. Hold on. This is a really long shirt, blah, blah, blah. I cut the arms off. Then the idea is you take the bottom of the shirt. Let's do a little tie. There we have it. Wow, my shirt is completely messed up, hold on. I basically shop at thrift stores compulsively, so my clothes cost less than my lunch. So here's one, it's a dress. I have to go like really far back so you can see this. Oh my gosh. I'm never ever in a dress, but this is a dress my mama got me. Here we go, so this is gonna come with me. Let's see if you guys can see this. Can you see this? How far back do I have to go? Here's another dress. What I like is that it actually looks tight, but it's loose so I can breathe. So this is definitely coming as well. I'm actually filming while Stanley is strangling me. This is not something I would typically do. I would wait till he stops. I'm gonna go take Ty Mesa because, whoo. Man, if you guys know what I mean, it's really not a fun feeling. The best way I can describe it is like, literally it feels like someone has their hands around your neck and they're like, they're literally choking. <sighs> Tybee, so come to the rescue. Another look, honestly, I'm getting sick of this now. I'll show you this look, and I think I'm gonna stop. Again, a little tight. I do not enjoy this, this is the problem. The only thing making this remotely fun is the fact that I'm talking to you guys. I used to like shopping, I don't like shopping anymore. I don't like anything that involves clothes, packing, buying clothes, selling clothes. So this video is probably really boring, but it made it better that I could do it with you and bore you as well. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this very boring, boring video, and um, I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. Side note, I'm gonna wait till my energy comes back and then I'm gonna make my, close that, start again. I'm gonna wait till my energy comes back and then I'm gonna make a pile to send to the Philippines. Okay, bye. What have I just been doing for the past half an hour, you ask? Looking for my camera. Somehow I managed to lose my camera and my phone in a period of about an hour. Now I'm heading out with the exact same sweater. Dave is coming over, he, coming over, he lives here. Dave is coming home and he's gonna walk with me a little bit and then I'm gonna head to my session. Just wanted to tell you that I found my camera, clearly, or else the video would have been over and you wouldn't have seen anything. And it's such a beautiful evening. Look how pretty it is outside. I love to see that building right there, the palm trees. Do you see that? It's so nice out there. Oh, <laughs> 